Want a health bar? Okay. So this is sl slightly a bit of a different topic, but I think it's worthy of uh, being looked at. So we've got a text displayer. Where is it? Down there. Auto fit. Turn off to auto fit off, and now we can just adjust these without worrying what the text is. Because normally, if you have a load of text uh, and you have auto fit on then you can only adjust it in certain ways depending on the alignment and things like that um, but if we have it on uh, where is it auto fit now we can just adjust it however we like so make it really thin and we'll make the text invisible make it pretty thin like that this will be a pretty basic example so that will be like the background uh, we'll make that thicker actually if it's the background then we will um, make this have a red background like that and make it a bit smaller oh, let's turn the borders off of these so I selected both of them by holding X and dragging over and then I tweaked one of them and if they're all the same type then they'll all be edited at the same time. This doesn't work for all all uh, settings but it, but pretty much all of them. Pretty much most of them. Um, what was I doing? Turning off the border. Cool, so now we can see it better. Oh, uh, if you leave uh, one tweaked like that then it will stay visible and then you can mess with the other one. Oh, let's just change that on then. <laughs> That's good enough. So now um so we get a value from here that is the actual value. Uh but we want kind of a percentage of how far through this is to the max health. So let's divide the, so we want like a fraction, right? So we have current health divided by max health. And now it will be, when the current health is halfway through, we'll get, when it's like 50, we'll get a value of 0.5 out of this, out of this calculator. So we can, then we can, um, yeah, let's have a look. So if you get a keyframe, let's leave this open. Select that. Right, so then we can adjust. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Let's just have that closed. Record in the keyframe, grab that, and then change the width. Like that. That's good enough. Um, now this probably will be the wrong way around, but let's have a look. Uh, yes, so now it looks like we, the bar is increasing because it's the wrong way around. Okay, so we want to kind of invert this around the other way. So to do that, we can actually, I'll do it the, the clever way, which is use a NOT gate. So a NOT gate, normally use it when you have like an on signal to turn it into an off signal or when it's an off signal coming in it will turn it into an on signal but what's actually happening is um, it's taking a value between 0 and 1 and making it a value between 1 and 0 so when you send it like 0 0.8 it's it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.8 um, so it kind of inverts it around in the 0 to 1 range I don't know if that's confusing enough for you, but that's <laughs> that's what's happening. Um, so that should fix it. Let's have a look. So now it goes down. And it gets to 50, it should be halfway through. It gets to 0, it will be all the way down. Um, yeah, so that's the basics of how you do that.